think anyone's on yet. I'm a little bit earlier than what I said, but I got home early or than expected. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Um, don't know if anybody's, y'all might all be trying to do dinner and baths, but I'm gonna go ahead and start and we'll see who joins in. Oh, uh, let's see. I need to draw in the lines here. Uh, let's see. That one goes there. And that one comes in there. And that goes down in there. into there oh hey okay we've got two people on so say hey when you come on um, I'm drawing in some lines sorry if I'm making y'all dizzy hey Jacqueline I'm trying not to get y'all to be able to see my face uh oh it says I can't rotate my phone okay there we go stay still Oh, Jacqueline, aren't you sweet? All right, so I'm drawing in this little mitt, and it's gonna have a softball on it. I'm trying um, not to let y'all see my face, because <laughs> I don't have any makeup left on. And I just don't wanna reapply. So I'm drawing in the little uh, stitches for this little glove, and it's gonna have um, a softball on it, and this is an order. This is the original template that I did last year, and this template, I believe, yeah, bless your art. Um, Ashley made this template, Ashley from Bless Your Art, and I made this with a baseball last year, and my friend Kayla is actually ordered it with a softball because her little girl plays softball. Um, so I'm drawing in just some basic lines and stuff, but we've, we're going to add the polka dots to the back. So y'all say hey. Hey Lexi. Is she feeling, feeling good? I say she's been sick a little bit lately. Is she feeling better? Y'all say hey when you pop on, okay? Because it's not pulling up and showing me. And the way I've got the camera angled, it's a little bit hard for me to read comments, but I'm gonna do my best. So I'm mixing some brown and white. This brown is, I don't even know which one I just used. It's either chocolate bar or melted chocolate from Apple Barrel. I don't know. I don't remember which one I, I did. And I don't remember what color I did this background. I do it different every time. I think it was probably a little mix of stuff. But just you want kind of a brown, glovey look. And we're just mixing up this brown and white to make a very light brown. Okay. I'm trying to read the comments. totally do a glitter rainbow. I've actually got um, this little St. Patrick's Day design that's got an adorable rainbow on it with a little pot of gold at the end. You know I love my glitter girl just like you. I'm going to add a little bit more brown to this. Ah, it's almost more of a red brown like it's one of those like really dark like a brick color. So, but it'll be fine. Okay. So we're gonna make some polka dots all over this. And I gotta get these on so they'll start to draw. Um, so we can finish doing our outlining and sketching. I'm hoping this doesn't take me too long. That's so why I already went ahead and had the base coat painted so that 
it wouldn't be taking forever. Because it's probably gonna need two coats. <laughs> Silly girl. All right. And we might change this color up a little bit. Oh, we got six people on. Y'all say hey. I'm just painting in some polka dots. Or circles are not really polka dots at this point. They're too big for polka dots. They're more like circles. So, I'm trying to get. Alright, I gotta paint and not just constantly try to read comments because I'll never get anything done. Y'all say hey though. What are y'all up to tonight? What's everybody doing? Had to go by. Walmart grocery and they took quite a while but they finally got to me. Hey Leslie! Thanks for joining me. If y'all will share, hit the little share button, uh, share my live, that would be amazing. I would so appreciate the love. And likes and hearts and all the things. I know I haven't done a painting live in forever. Oh, oh 10. We're up to 10, guys. Y'all say hey. It don't take long. Just hey, hey, hey. What's up? Hey, Mary. Sometimes it pops up and tells me who's on, like who's joined, and then sometimes it doesn't. So y'all make sure to let me know. Always love to know who's watching and hanging out with me. Um, I'm getting these polka dots on or circles. Uh, they're just gonna, they're just kind of real rough. I'm not getting too fancy. Hey, Lisa. Uh, this is for an order, like I said. So I thought it would be fun to paint with y'all. Uh, like finish painting it. I've got um, got the base coats on this weekend and then since it's like baseball softball season coming up thought this would be a fun one uh, to do for everybody to watch. I've written in my letters but obviously I'm just gonna sit here and paint right over them so that was a waste of time. So, let's see. Hey, Ellie. Y'all, the way I have my phone, I have to like lean over to like read the names. So, if I say your name wrong or don't see it right, hey, Rachel. Cassidy? Is that? It's hard for me to see it, so I'm trying to read your name. Cassidy, is that how you say your name? Yes, girl, I'm telling you, if I can cut, if I can use a jigsaw and cut these things out, you can, I promise. I am, I have a video on my YouTube channel. Um, I should have linked it. Ugh, I forgot. Um, that, like, walks you through how to use a jigsaw, like how to cut. It's real easy. Um, I was scared to death at first. I am a... Very clumsy, accident-prone person. Uh, when I first told my parents that I was going to do this, they basically told me no. At 34 years old at the time, or 33, they were like, no, nope, don't think that's for you. And haha, I proved them wrong. No, it's as long as you take your safety precautions with it and stuff, it's really easy. They've got uh, guards, you know, to protect the blade from... You know, really chopping off your finger. Um, unless you just do something really stupid with it. You will be fine. And they're really shockingly easy. Cassidy. Okay, there we go. That makes sense. Like Cassidy, but Cassidy. Okay. Cool. 
Yay! Y'all, we have 14 on, so y'all make sure to say hey so that I know. Sometimes Facebook tells me, sometimes it don't, so I always like to know who's hanging out with me. Do you currently paint door hangers? Do you want to start painting door hangers? Are you just like a door hanger buyer? How did you find my page? Tell me all the things. Give me all the scoops. Um, where you're from. Y'all just fill me up, okay? Share the video if you are amazing and you love me. Uh, just hit share. And you can share me, share this video to your friends so they can come on and hang out and watch. Um, I actually sold today, I did a virtual paint party. So basically, um, you buy the tutorial and the cutout and I send you the blank. It's for this adorable, cute little Easter bunny. I'm going to show you all in a second. I have one sitting over here. Um, and then I like, we'll email you once you purchase the tutorial and all that. Um, I ship you the blank within like a week. I usually typically go to the post office on Fridays. So that's usually my shipping day. Um, and then you get a video tutorial and you paint it at home by yourself. Um, or you can get a group of girlfriends together. You can order a bunch at once. Um, and paint on your own. If you live in Madison, you don't have to pay shipping. I can deliver the blanks to you. Madison, Huntsville, Alabama. Um, but yeah, just contact, reach out to me. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Literally, they sound just like my parents. Except no one was offering to cut them for me. My boyfriend will cut them sometimes. Um, when he's here, he lives in Chattanooga. And so sometimes I'll um, have some, you know, like already sketched out that he can cut when he's here. But for the most part, I do my own cutting. And I'm, it's, it's really, it's way easier than it seems and you think. And, um, and then the painting for me I, is my favorite part. Obviously, I don't enjoy cutting them. I don't enjoy you know, the assembly part necessarily, but, well, like, I enjoy the painting part. So that's the part that's, like, fun for me. So I'm just making these big circles, polka dots, um, if you will. They're super easy. There's a couple of different ways you can do polka dots. I'm just going to call them polka dots, but these are really too big for polka dots. Um, but you kind of want them... Um, like right here where, you know, the ball is, you want to look like it's going behind the ball. So it kind of gives that illusion of like, you know, it's the ball is in the glove. So the polka dots on the glove would obviously fall behind the ball. Um, and same thing like right here, go off the door hanger with it. So you want to like come around the edge here so that it looks like it's going around the back of the glove. And I do my poke, my polka dots, my dots in a triangle formation. So dot, 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 dot. They don't have to be perfect. It's not an exact science, but like dot, dot, dot. And I just, I do the swirl method and kind of make them bigger um, as I need it to be. But yeah, it just kind of depends. Everybody does them differently. Uh, there's also the, like, half a C. So you can do half a C, and then you come in, and you do the other half of the C, although that one goes off the thing, so it's a little hard to demonstrate. But two C's, basically, back to back. Some people do them that way. Polka dots are pretty easy, though. Who all's on? If you haven't said hey yet, say hey. Let me know what you're up to tonight. You cooking dinner? What are you having? I'm going to have leftovers. I made this really good, like, chicken casserole-y kind of thing last night. It was so simple. Just some, like, boiled chicken, like shredded chicken. Um, and then a can of cream of chicken soup. 
mix it with eight, eight to 12 ounces of sour cream and then put like a little eight by eight, nine by nine square dish or something. Um, put that, put your chicken on top of it. Put your chicken on, spray the pan, chicken on top of the pan, the dish, and then pour your mixture over to add a little bit of chicken broth um, or water. You could do water to it. Oh, meatloaf. Okay, so I've never actually had meatloaf. I'm really weird about textures. So I feel like to me, something about meatloaf seems like it would just be like this weird funky texture for some reason. But I love meat, so I don't know why. Like I like everything I think that's in meatloaf. <laughs> but I just have never actually tried it. But that's not surprising. There's a lot of foods I haven't tried. I don't do. Um, I'm a picky eater. So then for the chicken dish, you, um, once you pour your soup, soupy sour cream mixture on top, then you crumble up Ritz crackers and pour a stick of melted butter on top of them. I mixed my crackers and butter together, but the original recipe, um, I got off from a girl on YouTube and it's so simple. You can add mixed veggies in, you can add in like corn, the little like Chinese corn and pea mixture stuff. Um, but I don't eat veggies, so I didn't add it. So it was just chicken, soup, sour cream mixture, um, salt and pepper to taste, and then the Ritz crackers with butter, and you bake it 350 for like 40 minutes. Y'all, oh my God. It was so, so very good. Um, like, so good, and it's so easy. It reminds me of my mom's chicken tetrazzini, minus the noodles, because my mom makes the best chicken tetrazzini. Um, so, all right, so if you look here, when we got back around to the other end, you'll notice that this makes more of like a square a little bit, but they're kind of triangular. So I guess a square makes triangles. So, um, anyways, do y'all like that color? That light's really bright, so it's really hard for me to actually tell if that, I don't want it to look purple, you know? Let me put it off over here. Sorry, I'm putting it off over here outside of the light so I can see what it looks like if I need to change it up a little bit. I think it's good. Okay, so we're gonna do another coat of this. Probably don't need to, but I always like to have a little extra coat um, of my paints. It just makes me feel better. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to paint another coat of yellow on the inside. So that can be drying while we do our other set of, um, trying to find a brush. And this is Apple Barrel Bright Yellow that I'm using for the softball. So... If y'all will share my video, I would very much appreciate it. It would be so awesome. And y'all say, hey, talk to me. It's a lot more fun when people are communicating. Yeah, so this is Apple Barrel Bright Yellow. And I'm just going to add another quick coat on here just to, I don't, I personally am not a big fan of like when it's see-through. Um, and sometimes it's just the paint and you can't really help it. Um, it's going to be, you know, see-through no matter what you do. But if I can paint over it a couple of times just to give it that thickness, that's what I like to do. Um, but it also takes up a little bit of extra time. So we want to get this done so it dries. I'm not going to be too precise about going to the very edge because we're going to outline everything in black. So... All right. And once we get everything on here, you know, it'll be fine. But I just like to have that extra, extra coat of everything. 
So what else is everybody else having for dinner? Okay. I'm making red lobster. Oh, I have some of those. Sausage? No way. Oh my gosh. That sounds good. I literally have some of those, the box mix or whatever for those in my cabinet, in my pantry. So now, so you just use like regular, like mild, like breakfast sausage or you crumble it up. Give me the deets. I need to know the deets. April, this is not my template. Um, this is the template that I bought last year for it. And I'm just turning it into a softball. Mine, she doesn't want the face. So I'm not doing the face. I'm just doing a softball. But this is Bless Your Art by Ashley. I can't remember her last name at the minute. But Bless Your Art on Facebook. And then her templates are on Etsy. Bless Your Art. That's where I got the template from. And like I said, I'm just turning it from a baseball to a softball. Um, sansing the face. And I'm going to wrap the words play ball down here on the bottom. All right. We had pork chops, broccoli, cheese, rice, corn. I would eat the pork chops and the corn. Scalloped potatoes. Yes. Okay. I would eat the scalloped potatoes. <laughs> I'm like, scallops with pork chops. That's an interesting combination. Yeah, love scalloped potatoes, y'all. I'm a meat and taters. Girl, I don't really eat vegetables. I eat, like, green beans and stuff. But, you know, some good old southern um, butter beans with some bacon in them. That's my jam, y'all. Hey, Kri Kristen. Sorry, I got the hiccups. What you up to tonight, girl? One pound of breakfast sausage and add to the mixture biscuits. Oh, okay. So trying that because that sounds good. And it's like um, my boyfriend, his two little ones, um, they will actually eat. They love red lobster cheddar biscuits. So I keep them in stock for them because they love those. So I'll cook those. A lot of times when we're having like dinner or whatever and they'll eat those. They love them. Ooh, April, you are cooking everything tonight. I love some cornbread too. Okay, let that dry. We're going to finish our, do another coat of our circles. I'm just, uh, yeah, I guess they're okay. Maybe I'm going to add a little bit more white to them. I don't know why I'm just not. I mean, I know that they need to be. They're just looking real purpley. And the good thing is I can change it up. I can do whatever I want to, y'all. Um. Hmm. I think, yeah, I think this will be better. It's just a little bit wider, lighter, wider. Is Kayla on? That's my friend that ordered it. She could tell me if she wants some lighter. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Cornbread for sure with butter beans. That's the way to do it. You cook them low and slow for a couple of hours. They're even better when we can get them, um, like, my mom gets them fresh and, you know, picks some, shells them, picks some, puts them up. Oh, it's so good. And then I'm always like, give me 14 bags of the butter beans. But the Walmart ones are, not, oh, I don't think they're Walmart. They're like Green Giant maybe? I don't know. The frozen ones are good too. I mean, they're a good substitute when you can't have the fresh picked and shelled and put up ones. I think that's like a dying thing, you know, people putting up their own 
veggies. And it's hard to justify it when, you know, it's so easy to just bomb, you know? Bomb frozen, they taste almost just as good, like. Okay, we're getting there. I'm just trying to smooth things out as I see it drying. If I see it's drying a little funky, I'll run over it with my brush. Kind of make my way around. Can y'all see the little bit of color difference on there? Oh, we're down to three people. Where's everybody going to make dinner? Tend to the kids, I guess. I usually like to be on a little bit later, but I wanted to go ahead and get on because I've got some other stuff I need to get done tonight. So I wanted to get this painted so I can get it sprayed and dried. I gotta make bows for a couple of other orders. And this one. For those that are on, make sure you say hey if you haven't already. Share my post. Send me some love. Hearts and likes galore. Just hit the like button. And if you hold it down, I think it does love. Or you just hit the heart button, whichever one. You know. I'm just painting a softball. So. Oh. And I'm trying to read your comments. They might take me a few minutes. So, I've been watching Breaking Bad on Netflix. I know, I know, I'm so behind the times. And I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. So, like, when I was sitting at Walmart waiting on my groceries, I was, like, oh, watching it. And then when I'm home, I try, like, to watch... Um, you know, stuff on my TV because I have so much stuff recorded. I love so many shows and it's hard to keep up with them all. So when I'm home and in the den painting or whatever, I'll watch my DVR. But then if I'm like getting a bath or something like that, I will turn on and watch Netflix. So currently Breaking Bad is my favorite show on TV. What is... Hey, Natasha. Hey, Cam. Y'all let me know what y'all are doing tonight. Hit share. Hit the hearts and the likes. Um, Cam is about to have her third little boy. So excited. She is... My cousin's wife, which technically, I guess, makes her my cousin, cousin-in-law. Um, we're more just friends, I think. She's a sweetheart, but yeah, they're about to have their third little baby boy. And he's going to be just as adorably and cute as his brothers. I know it. They definitely make the cutest babies. Yay, I'm so glad, Natasha. What are you going to be working on tonight? You got more more baby rooms? Natasha's having a baby too? Y'all, oh my goodness. I have so many people having babies right now. It's so fun. They're having a little boy. I have to think for a second just to make sure. So she, Natasha's been working on nursery stuff and Hey, Ken! Ooh, what did she have a CT scan for? Did I, I missed... She was having one. Hope she's okay. I am terrible at remembering things, y'all. It's real, real bad. Like, Lee will tell me stuff all the time, and then I'm like, what? You told me that? No. But then I'll tell him stuff, and he'll do the same thing. He'll be like, you didn't tell me that. I'm like, mm-hmm, I so did. And the 
it's funny because my parents do the same thing, you know, like, you didn't tell me you were going out of town. I didn't know that. Well, bet you, you probably did, so. It's just cute. I think everybody does that, you know, like, everybody has that, like, I told you that. No, you didn't. I feel you, girl. I'm going to get some of these door hanger things done and then I'm going to soak in the tub and watch some TV. And I'm going to start all my Facebook lives. When I do these Facebook lives, I'm going to start putting them on my YouTube channel afterwards. So if y'all ever miss um, one of my lives, obviously you can watch it on Facebook, but I'm really trying to amp up my YouTube channel. Um, so I would love if you miss it on Facebook to go watch it on YouTube. Be amazing. Help me because I got to get like a thousand watch hours before they'll like monetize my channel. So if you get bored and want to go watch some cool videos, I'm uploading things slowly but surely. To YouTube and it's just same name as everything else BK's Dorable Designs um, go over and follow me on the YouTubes and you know if you get bored and you want to like um, <laughs> have fun girl love you too hope Hope the baby eats well. Um, but yeah, I need like a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours over there, so that's fun. I'm trying to build that up. Okay. Now we're gonna let the polka dots dry a little bit, and hopefully my yellow's getting there while that's drying a few minutes. Um. Don't forget, starting Sunday night, I'm doing a live collab for the whole month of March with some amazing girls. So Sunday night is going to be Hey Girl Designs. So as soon as y'all are done watching me, which hopefully will be in like an hour, <laughs> um, go follow all these girls. I've linked them all in my previous post. Um, and... It's going to be kind of cool. So each night we're going to go live, one of us. And it can be various times. It really just kind of depends. Um, I think we're all in central time. But Sunday nights will be Hey Girl Designs. Monday nights will be me. Tuesday nights will be... Uh, I have a little cheat sheet here. Uh, little Blessings Creative Crafts. And then Wednesday night is Simply Adorable Creations. Thursday will be Sunny Lizard Creations. Friday, we're going to have like an off day. Like nobody's going to be painting on Fridays. Everybody just is crazy busy on Fridays. Um, and then Saturday is going to be Cotton Pick and Shop. So all those are listed. Here's a list of names. If you haven't seen it. Oh, let me get it lined up. So, Hey Girl Designs, me, BK's Adorable Designs, Little Blessings Creative Calves, Simply Adorable Creations, Sunny Lizard Creations, and Cotton Pick and Shop. So, every day, aside from Fridays, um, we're going to be going live. And, yay! I'm so excited, Leanne. That's so awesome. Um, and we're going to be painting we're gonna be someone might be teaching you know doing like how to make a bow i'm gonna do uh one night one of mine i'm gonna like do some hand lettering kind of teach um some hand lettering not really teach necessarily but just kind of show you um how i kind of do some lettering i'm gonna paint a mother's day design i'm gonna paint a another baseball design which is really cute the um home with the plate um and then i need some ideas so if y'all have any ideas if you want me to teach y'all something specific how to do something um like a i don't know how to make flowers or how to um use 
something technical maybe. Um, I don't have an iPad, I don't have Procreate, I can't teach you that because I'm also not a drawer. So I buy pretty much all my templates from someone else. Occasionally I'll whip up something on my own, but it's very rare. Most of the time I get my ideas from someone else. So um, anyways, join us all, like follow all of our pages so that when we go live, you'll see us. Um, and we're gonna be doing giveaways. And the cool thing about the giveaways is you're not gonna know when they happen. They're gonna be random. They won't be every week and they won't be every page. Um, I think I've got three giveaways planned. So you're not gonna know which week they come on. So you have to watch the videos and you have to follow along. And to be entered for the giveaways, you have to like everybody's page. So go ahead, go like all the pages just in case. Um, you know, you don't want to miss anyone. You don't want to miss the giveaways. There's like a Hobby Lobby gift card involved in one of them. Um, there's going to be an awesome um, like gift. Like these are mine. I, I don't know what everybody else is doing exactly, but um, for sure. So go ahead, like all the pages that are doing it. Um, and that way you won't miss anything. And it's going to be a lot of fun. We're just like wanting to reach out to new people, find some awesome people that love to craft or just love to watch us craft. Um, and you don't have to like be, you know, a professional or anything like that. We just want to hang out with some cool people. So that's starting Sunday night with Hey Girl Designs. And so y'all make sure to follow her um, her page first, and then um, that's uh, Dina Deanna. I'm not really sure how you actually pronounce her name. <laughs> that's really bad. Um, but and then Ashley, her daughter, helps her. Ashley does the most like adorable like unicorns, and they're so cute. Um, and she does. Um, like drip paintings, which are so cool. And then Dina, Diana, Diana. <laughs> so bad, I don't know how to like pronounce the way she spells it, but that's a hard one. Um, anyways, she just does all kinds of things. She's awesome and amazing. And then um, Tuesday, Little Blessings Creative Crafts is my friend Jackie. And she does all kinds of really neat, different stuff. She's got a bunch of different techniques that she does and Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Ashley is, she's so funny. Um, she loves to sing. And so, she, like, she loves Carrie Underwood. So, like, their page is always fun. She'll, like, break out in song. Like, you just never know. Um, so, they're a lot of fun to watch. And then, Little Blessings Creative Crafts is Jackie. She's amazing. Uh, Simply Adorable Creations is Natasha. And she actually lives in Birmingham, which is where I'm from, although I've never met her. Um... But she just does like just super, super cute um, door hangers. And then Sunny Lizard Creations. She is so, 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 so sweet. Um, Stephanie. And she's kind of new like as far as um, like she's never done a live before. So when she starts, it'll be her first live, which is so fun. Um, so she's going to be great. And she just paints the cutest, cutest things. And I think she actually, like, she's, like, I don't know. I want to say she might have more followers than me. I can't really remember. But she's never done a live, so it's, like, fun. I'm super excited for her to be in the group. And then my girl Larissa at Cotton Pickens Shop is going to do Saturdays. I'm so excited. Um, she's, she's, like, a killer, like, bow. Like, she makes these, like, massive bows like that are like you can put on your mailbox or you know like your door just it's still it's so cool and she paints too she does painting like she's awesome love her that's my girl um so anyways enough rambling go check out everybody check out our lives we're gonna have so much fun hey Amanda um and then my goal is hopefully, you know, every other month or so to, you know, find some more girls to do collabs with. And I think it's fun. I think it's a fun way to like 
reach out, you know, new people um, in the community. So Larissa and I were just talking, like, how can, because we used to do lives, like a bunch, and I just haven't been doing them. So I was talking to her, and I was like, what can we do to get us motivated to do lives again? And we were like, let's just do it with other people so that we're committed and, hey, girl. Um, and, like, you kind of have to, you know, when you, like, commit to doing it with someone else, like, it kind of makes you, you know, like, okay, I've got, you know, gonna stick to it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, um, I think our yellow is dry enough now, is for our softball, it's got red laces. So I've sketched out my line here in chalk. I use Crayola chalk for all of my chalking. And I'm gonna do it in white. And then I'm gonna go in with the red because red does not always tend to play nicely on top of other colors. So I'm gonna use this Filbert tip brush. It's the size 12. It may be way too big for it, but this is a big old softball. So um, I'm just gonna go in with my yellow and I'm gonna trace where my chalk is and kind of fill it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want a little white base. And don't make it too thick because you want this to dry fairly quickly since I'm on a live. I don't want to be sitting here 14 days from now waiting for this white to dry. And white is very thick. Okay, got the white on that side. So now we're going to come and do it this way. And um, remember I said we're going to go over everything in black. So you don't have to get perfectly to the edge. Or if you get a little bit over the edge, it'll be okay. Because we're going to come back in with the black outline. Once again, if y'all want this template, it's um, Bless My Art by Ashley. Um, so go follow her on Facebook too. It's where I got this cutie from. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry and now we're gonna come in and do our little laces. And I think I can do it with this brush. We'll see. Okay. Yay, awesome. Okay, Rachel, for sure. All right, so this, I'm going to think, I'm going to do it, like, so when you paint, you can do, lay it flat and do it like that, or you can hold it upright and get a thin line. So I think I'm going to do this with the thin line, okay? And if y'all aren't painting on your hands, who are you? <laughs> okay, so we're going to get a little paint on our brush, and we're going to do laces like this. We're gonna kind of curve them down. And I'm just applying a little pressure. Um, smooth them out a little. But I don't want them to be like perfectly flat. You know, have a little, little dimension. And I'm not a sports person, so. You know, hopefully these don't look too terrible. All right, and this, then you do it the other way, you go the opposite direction. Um, so, I think it'll be easier if I just turn the whole thing around. <laughs> so I can do them that way. Okay, so we do, yeah. We're going to go in and we're pulling them down just like we did, but because we rotated it, it'll make them look backwards. And I'm just kind of estimating on spacing, not getting in the lengths and the widths and all that kind of stuff. I'm not getting too precise with it. I would like to say a baseball isn't perfect, but when they're manufactured, they probably are all the same. But that's okay. My door hanger doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, 
and just kind of smooth them out. Now, keep this brush handy because we're going to come back in and use it to do our red. Um, so wash off the white. And that needs to dry for a few minutes. Pretty, pretty good. So I'm gonna come in, let that size 12 sit over there. You can really use any kind of brush, but you just wanna let that one um, hang out. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna actually take, where is one? I used one last night, so let me get out my dirty brushes and find the one I'm looking for specifically. I think it's this one. I get my brushes mainly from like Walmart or Hobby Lobby. My Filbert tip brushes I order off Amazon. Um, you'll find some people that sell them like, you know, on their online shops and stuff like that, but they can be a little expensive. Um, so if you can find them on Amazon, I do. I actually have ordered a few extras. Um, they're like some China off brand. They're nothing. Like literally they tear apart, they rip. They're actually horrible brushes. Um, like the handles and stuff. But the brushes or filbert tip brushes are great. And they're just like those round tip brushes. So don't don't go spend a lot of money on these, okay? Like I'll leave them sitting out and they'll dry up and I don't want to have invested, you know, 20 bucks for one brush. I get a big old pack um, and that's how I roll. So I'm going to take this little white pointy, I meant blue pointy brush that I got in a like multi-pack from Hobby Lobby um, with just some white and I'm going to add in some little, little zhuzhi highlights here. Um, I want to do these before I go and add my black outlines so that if the black falls over them, it won't mess them up. So, and these by far are not precise or perfect or anything like that. We're just zhuzhing away. Okay, look, make sure you got them all. Quick and easy, quick and easy. Who all is still watching with me? Give me a, I'm still here. Um, if you haven't said hey already, say hey. Um, now we can do some of our black outlining up here at the top. I think I'm gonna use another filbert tip. This is a size six. Filbert tip. It's just a round. I, they, Filbert tips give me such a smooth like glide that I really like them. All right, now I need a black. And these are FIFO bottles. If you haven't seen these, first in, first out. Um, get these on Amazon. I think you get a six pack for like twenty four, maybe thirty dollars. I don't know. They're a game changer. I put my black. I put my white. I actually have three bottles of white because when I run out of white, I don't necessarily always want to refill it, but I buy the gallon paint jugs of white and I refill them. This is Apple Barrel Black and I'll buy it in the like 16 ounce containers and pour them in here. Love, love, love them. And then I have like my most used colors, like this red is a bear, a bear paint from Hobby Lobby, no more drama. So I like have that, have one with it. It's, those bottles are the best. They like squirt out like um, they're ketchup bottles, restaurant bottles and stuff. So I love them. Okay, load up my paint with black, load up my brush with some black paint. And I'm going to draw in where this outline would be. Okay. And we're not gonna go completely all the way around and do all the outlines yet, but I just wanna make sure I'm somewhat staying in the line of where it will fall. So that I will just go and draw in because it's a quick line. Whoop. Okay, and we're gonna do that right here. 
And if you're noticing it's a little thicker, you can even it out. Woo! Got a little heavy handed with that one. All right, and I can kind of see where my chalk lines were um, under the polka dots, so it kind of helps me. I don't have to necessarily sketch out the chalk lines again. Just smooth it out, make it all even. Yay, Leanne, you're gonna love them. Did you order from Amazon? Or did you order them from somebody? Like, I wish I could get the connection to China and order them wholesale. Um, I'm just not that big yet. But, I have noticed that they sell out, like, on Amazon pretty quick. So, yeah, if I see them, I, like, snag them up. But there's different kind of, like, brands. Um, but they're all the same. The white-handled... Um, brushes, they all do the same. It doesn't matter the name on them or anything like that. And I love them. Yes, the handles are, you know, they're, the handles are crap. They will start to peel off pretty quickly. Oh, yes. Amazon it is. I love Amazon. Um, but they're still really good brushes. Like, the brush part is just so good. Okay, so I'm going to come in here. Draw in that little lace. This door hanger is really easy. Um, once you kind of sketch everything out and know what you're doing. So we're gonna draw that in. Bring that in. And you can kind of work on different things as they're, um, as one thing's drying, you can kind of work on something else. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and paint around this edge. Get off of there. Get that outline going. And I'll come back and I'll actually paint my, like, sides. Like the whole side, I'll paint all that black, but I'll wait till I'm like done with everything and then paint that. I have to be careful like doing that though, like not doing it as I go because a lot of times I will forget. But um, our white's looking pretty dry, so. I think I'm gonna stop right here with the black. Put it, just let it hang out because I'm gonna pick it up and use it in a minute. Pick back up our 12, and then I'm gonna use my No More Drama Red, squared it in my paint here. Um, And does it need a little bit more time? We'll see. We might have to do a couple of coats of red, so. um. I like to spin and figure out what the best angle is for me. Hey, Kelly. How's it going, girl? Okay. Um, all right, so we're going to paint our red over. And this softball color is bright yellow by Apple Barrel. And the red is No More Drama. Uh, by Bear Paint. Like Home Depot Bear Paint. Like wall paint or whatever. I just get the little sample sizes. And they color match anything. So I can actually take any color. I take a lot of my Apple Barrel colors in there. Um, that I use a lot. And get them to make them for me in bulk. Okay. And now we're going to, oh, see, I'm getting my arm in this black I've already done. Just putting in our red. And they might 
not go perfectly over where you have the white, but that's okay because we're gonna add in some little highlights and stuff and you won't really be able to tell the difference. Okay. Is that looking like a softball, y'all? Thank you. Um, I think it's coming along, looking a little bit like one. I'm getting hungry, y'all. I wasn't hungry when I got home, but now I'm starving. Okay. So this might actually not need another coat of red. That's what we have the glorious white for. Won't she not need that multiple coats? Because um, I guarantee you, had we not done the white, this red would have been a mess on this yellow. Come in. Get your laces on. They don't have to be perfect. Okay? Promise, promise, promise. Trust me. If anybody understands, like, some OCD perfection tendencies, it's, it's this one. Um, but it's looking great. Okay. Going to let that dry a little bit then we'll see if we need another coat as it dries um i'm actually going to go in and start outlining the softball in black just small strokes at a time following along my outline here and coming up in here just, you know, watching what you're doing, following along with it. And if you mess up while you're painting, real quickly, take your finger and wipe it off. Don't stress. It's usually always wipeable if you don't let it dry. Um, if, it, if you do, if it's like crazy and you're, you get scared and you mess it up or whatever, let it dry completely and then take it back and paint over it. Paint over it with white if you need to and then do whatever little touch-ups you need. I spend more time probably fixing things than I do like actually painting the designs because I'm like a perfectionist. So I want it to be perfect. Okay, we still got a few people on. A few of y'all are hanging in with me. Not abandoning me. I wish one of y'all could go, like, fix me dinner. Keep them, bring it to me. I'm going to have a coffee. Let me get a drink. Okay. Got that part done. And now I'm going to do this part, this little outline where it looks like the glove, the ball is coming into the glove. Actually really killed it with this template. I love it. And it was a big seller for me last year too. Um, <coughs> people love their baseballs and softballs. It's the first time I've done it with a softball and I'm loving it. So if you got a little one that's playing softball or maybe you or your hubby play softball or you just like softball, um, this is a great one. So I'm going to finish outlining around here. And we're almost done. I'm going to show you all some, I'm, like I'm going to do some lettering, I think, because this one's pretty easy to letter. Um, like the letters are pretty simple. Okay, I'm not going to do this bottom outline here because I want to do my lettering and I don't want to have my hand sitting in my lettering, okay? So I'm going to sketch out my letters again. I had them done, but we're going to draw them in again. Probably going to make them a tad bigger than they were. And that's why I use chalk because 
um, the Crayola chalk, once you get done painting, when you go to spray it, it will all just like melt away with the spray. It's amazing. So I can really just get in here and like make it, if I don't like this pee, I need to change up a little bit. Oh, mercy. All right, tip, see, I messed that up. Get my finger, pull it in. I'm just wetting my finger and then pushing that back in. Okay, we saved it. Wet your cotton ball a little bit if you want to. You don't have to. You can do it dry. And then draw back in your letter. And as you paint, you can change it up a little too if you need to. Okay. So, I don't want to use a 12. That was too big. Um, six is probably a little small, so I think I'm going to go with an eight. This is a size eight. Um, filbert tip. And I sketch it out with chalk pretty much every time. Like, I'm a little... Ashley, I don't... Oh, not you, Ashley. Sorry. Uh, that's my sister. Hi. No, my the girl I got the template from. Her name's Ashley, too. Bless my art. Or bless, bless your art. Yeah. Alright. So, take our brush. This is a size 8 filbert tip. And just kind of paint over where we did our chalk lines. I'll do one kind of sweep and then go back in with another. Changing up pressure as I feel like I need to. Lettering is a lot of just trial and error, doing it a bunch. Sometimes mine turns out, sometimes it don't. That's okay. Um, last night I did one. It's a cute little bunny that uh, Tiffany Hill has on her Etsy, Queen of My Castle Designs, or Queen of My Castle, something on Etsy, but on Facebook, she's Queen of My Castle Designs. Anyways, painted it last night. I love it. And I like actually sent a picture of my sister. I was like, look how good the writing turned out. So it's hit or miss, you know? But you add a little accent on it, and even if you messed it up, it still turns out looking super cute usually. So I'm just kind of going back over the places, thickening it up, thickening it up. And kind of keeping an eyeball on it as I do it. Make sure we're staying in. See, I'm getting a little bit over here with my B. That's okay. I'm trying to keep it. And then do my L's kind of going up. Good thing about L's, they're real close together. So you don't need to, whoop, too much space with that, with that thing. Okay, play ball. I don't know if I went out, I just got a missed call. But I think it's like a telemarketer or something, so it like sends them to voicemail. All right, I'm gonna finish outlining now. And we'll do some little accents, and then we'll be good. Smooth out that outline. Let that black dry a little bit. We might go in and do the yellow a little bit more. I'll do another coat of yellow. I meant red. Blair. Everything's drawn nicely. Go away. I know you're shaking, so let me not get you shaking. You need to face that way a little bit more, I think. Stop shaking. Okay. Thank you, girl. Hey, Larissa. Didn't see you had joined in. Did y'all get done with your ball stuff? 
um, Larissa's one of my girls doing the collab with me. Uh, she's cotton cooking shops, so she's gonna be Saturday. And she's the the brainchild with me behind getting this all together. Okay. I am, I think, I don't know. Maybe I can just leave them. I think they look okay. I might let those, <laughs> I don't know. I know I need to do highlights on the letters, but they're still super, super wet. So, we're gonna let those dry. And my red's still a little wet, so I'm gonna just let it dry. I might come back in and just do highlights later when I come back and do my edges. So. Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. This is, it's still wet, so let's see if I can show it to you. So this is our softball mitt. And like I said, the template, the original template is from Bless Your Art um, on Etsy. So if you'd like the template, you can go purchase it from her. Make sure you share my video, hang out um, with me next Monday night. Um, around probably eight, but I might come on earlier. I'll just kind of have to see how work goes and stuff like that. Um, I do, Natasha. Yeah, I'm not going to probably do yours until like March, end of March, but maybe that can be one of my lives when I do that one. I don't know. I, it makes me nervous to do a live for a design I've never done before. Um, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, Cause that one, that one's gonna be super, super cute. I can't wait. We're doing a like a fox, cause she's having a little boy and she's doing like woodland, so we're gonna do a fox um, for her. And thank you guys for hanging out with me. Share my video. Make sure you tune in to Hey Girl Designs on Sunday. Me on Monday. Little Blessings Creative Crafts on Tuesday. Simply Adorable Creations. On Wednesday, Sunny Lizard Creations on Thursday, and Cotton Pick and Shop on Saturday. Can y'all see? There we go. Got them all in there. So go follow us all so you don't miss out on the giveaways. Share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me all the love. Thanks for the support. If y'all want door hangers, let me know if you would like just some blanks. Um, for stuff I have, I can't, I don't do templates, um, but if I have a design or something that you like, I can, I can cut you out a, a blank for sure. Um, if you want to do my virtual bunny, my paint party, virtual paint party bunny, um, go check that out too. And I'll send you the video. I sold one today and I'm super excited. So thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'm going to eat dinner and take a bath and probably go to bed. <laughs> So, love you girls. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and supporting my business. And I'll talk to y'all soon.